Imagine for a moment that the history you thought you knew isn't the real one. That a vivid memory, shared by millions of people around the world, in fact never existed. This phenomenon isn't a magic trick or a fantasy. It's a massive distortion of collective memory that makes us question the reliability of our own minds. It's called the Mandela Effect. The most iconic example, and the one that gives the phenomenon its name, is Nelson Mandela. Millions of people around the world confidently remember Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s. Some even claim to have watched the funeral on television. Yet reality is very different. Mandela was released in 1990, became president of South Africa in 1994, and finally passed away in 2013. How is it possible that a falsehood so widespread can feel so real? The term Mandela Effect was coined in 2009 by paranormal researcher Fiona Broom. Broom noticed she wasn't the only one who had the erroneous memory of Mandela's death. At a conference, she realized that thousands of people shared the same memory, including details like media commotion and a collective sense of mourning. Intrigued, Broom began compiling other cases of collective memories that contradicted the historical record, examples ranging from cartoon details to movie quotes. Her work brought to light a concept that quickly went viral on the internet. Since its origin, the Mandela Effect has revealed a list of examples often more convincing than the original. These cases touch pop culture elements many of us consider immutable. Looney Tunes vs. Looney Tunes One of the most common confusions. Many people swear the cartoon was called Looney Tunes, with two O's like cartoons. However, the correct name has always been Looney Tunes, referring to the musical tunes that accompanied the shorts. The famous Star Wars line, Luke, I am your father. This line is so well known it's become a cultural reference. But if you check the film, Darth Vader actually says, No, I am your father. The word Luke is never spoken. This subtle yet crucial difference reveals how our brains simplify and alter memories. The Monopoly monocle. Can you picture Mr. Monopoly without a monocle? Many can't. Yet the character Rich Uncle Pennybags has never worn a monocle. This false memory is so persistent that people's brains automatically add the accessory. Pikachu. The tale of this Pokemon is a point of debate. Many remember a black tip at the end of the tail or on the ears. In truth, Pikachu's tail has always been completely yellow, and only the tips of the ears are black, never the base. Mirror Mirror In Disney's Snow White, the evil queen doesn't say the line we all remember. The real dialogue is magic mirror on the wall, not mirror mirror. These examples demonstrate not only the fragility of memory, but also the power of the cultural narratives we create collectively. The most plausible explanation for the Mandela effect comes from cognitive psychology. Our brain is not a recorder that stores information perfectly and immutably. Instead, memories are a reconstruction process. Every time we access a memory, our brain rebuilds it using fragments, emotions, and even new information we've acquired. Far from perfect, this process is prone to errors and distortions. Several factors contribute to large-scale false memories. Cultural and media influence. Memes, parodies, and repeated incorrect versions in the media can plant the seed of a false memory. A Star Wars parody where Darth Vader says, Luke, I am your father, may be easier to remember than the original line. And over time, that version becomes reality. Social suggestion. Humans are social creatures and tend to trust group wisdom. If you hear many people confidently assert something, your brain is likely to adjust your own memory to match the collective consensus. Associations and mental fill-ins. The brain often fills memory gaps with information that seems logical. It feels natural to associate the Monopoly man with a monocle as a symbol of wealth, or to think the cartoon's name is Toons because it rhymes with cartoons. While science offers a grounded response, many find these explanations unsatisfying. This has given rise to far more extreme theories circulating mainly on the internet and in science fiction forums. Parallel universes. One popular theory claims the Mandela effect is evidence of parallel universes. According to this idea, our reality has merged or collided with another, causing small alterations in the history we know. People who experience the Mandela effect would be those who somehow remember events as they happened in the other universe. Reality as simulation. Another theory, inspired by films like The Matrix, 
suggests we live in a computer simulation. The Mandela effect would be a glitch, a programming error, moments when the code of reality corrupts or updates unexpectedly, leaving humans with memories of the previous version. Though these theories lack scientific basis, they offer a grand, almost magical answer to a phenomenon that makes us uneasy. They let us think the problem isn't our memory, but reality itself. The Mandela effect fascinates because it touches a raw nerve, the vulnerability of our memory. It forces us to confront the idea that what we remember, even with absolute conviction, might be a construction. The implications go far beyond pop culture curiosities. Eyewitness testimony and the legal system. In a trial, an eyewitness account can be central evidence. The Mandela effect shows that even a certain memory can be false, casting doubt on the reliability of such testimony. History and legacy. Collective memory builds history. If that memory can be altered by repeated narratives or faulty associations, how accurate is the history we know? How many facts are actually simplified or distorted versions of the truth? In the end, the most unsettling aspect of the Mandela effect isn't the existence of false memories, but their ability to be so convincing and widely shared. It reminds us that our perception of reality is largely a collective construction and that, sometimes what we consider most certain is, in fact, a fragile shared illusion. Now the question is for you, which example of the Mandela effect has made you doubt your own memory? Have you discovered a memory you believed was true that turned out to be false? Share your story in the comments.